Here's another program that works with exceptions. And again, our goal is to figure out what gets printed out when this program is run. So I'll pause for a few seconds to give you a chance to pause the video and then we'll talk about it together. All right, when this program starts, it makes a call to main. And so we get an activation for record for main on our call stack. And it proceeds to execute the body of main. It enters the try block and makes a call to the hello function. So we get an activation record for hello. And execution proceeds to the body of hello. And that prints out hello called. And then it enters a try block and makes a call to the goodbye function. So we get an activation record for goodbye on our call stack. And the body of goodbye then begins to execute. So that prints out goodbye called. And then it throws a goodbye error. So the normal flow of execution pauses and the program looks to, to find a try block that has an associated catch that can handle a goodbye error. So first it checks the current scope to see are we within a try block and we're not within goodbye. So then it checks the next scope and it checks are we within a try block inside of hello. And in fact, we are. We are within a try block. So it's going to look at the catch blocks to see if any of them can handle a goodbye error. And in this case, there's only one catch block and it cannot handle a goodbye error. It just handles the error type. So this try catch can't handle a goodbye error. So the program proceeds to the next scope to see whether there is a try catch that can handle a goodbye error. So it proceeds to main and checks to see are we within a try block in main and we are. We're at, at that call to hello. And now it checks the catch blocks to see if any of them can handle a goodbye error and it checks them in order. So the first one only handles the error type. So that can't handle a goodbye error. However, the second one is a catch all so it can handle any exception type. So it can handle a goodbye error and execution proceeds to the body of that second catch. And that prints out unknown error. And then once that catch block is done, execution proceeds past the try catch and it prints out main returns and our program ends.